And on the mound for Miami right-hander Ben Chestnut. Hurricane baseball against Florida Gulf Coast. All set underway. 6-0-3 the first pitch. Chestnut looking for a sign that he can agree to and has one that he likes. This one hit on the ground into left field for a base hit by a diving Jimenez. That shortstop, a one-out single to left field for Ian Farrow. Uh, I think the pitching's been pretty good for them so far. Yeah, you, you, know, you look at this Hurricane team as... I may have spoken too early. This one to the alley in left center field, and this one is gone for a home run. Well, I was talking about the home run, rather the uh, strikeout-to-walk ratio. That is the seventh home run of the year given up by Miami. Yeah, you have a little breeze going out to left center field. We'll talk about the pitching in a moment. Uh, let's first talk about this big fly. As FGCU get a 2-0 advantage early in this ball game. And I think that helped this program ultimately get some players that they ended up getting uh, as we get a base hit to start this inning by Torres. A nice line drive right back up the middle. But I, I think if JD doesn't do what he did at that moment while they were still interviewing, this program is not where it is today. University of Miami is a is a plum job in college baseball. This one is lined off the glove of the third baseman and into left field. Back-to-back -back hits by Torres and Gonzalez. College baseball works and how it's different from the other sports. This one grounded deep in the hole at shortstop. There'll be no play. Miami has the bases loaded now. Costello on with an infield hit. 2-2 Two -two offering. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Three balls and a strike. That's outside ball four and forces a run in. Torres will come across the plate, and that cuts the lead in half. Yeah, and that's just a great at-bat, Joey. Perez waits on the 3-2 delivery. Line into right field. Farrow backing up to the warning track. He'll make the catch uh, on the track. Tagging at third is Gonzalez. He'll score and tie the game at two. Perez the opposite way with a sacrifice fly, and it's Miami two and Florida Gulf Coast two. Ball two, strike two. Viegas the opposite way into left field for a base hit. One run in. Here comes the second run, and Miami's in front, four to two, as Jimenez scores standing up. Viegas goes the opposite way. It's in a two, it's a two-run single, two-strike delivery. There goes Viegas. Throw down to second is going to be in time. Viegas is out at second base, and like Weicho says, Miami will start off the next inning with Blake Sear at the plate. He's saying it's a he foul said it ball. Hit him. Umpire saying foul ball. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna yep. talk to the other guys. See. But that would be a. Uh... Oh, I'm he, gonna hey. say it hit him in the hand. I'm wrong. All right. right. And that's in there for a call strike three. Second time tonight, you got him looking. Jacob Lojuski, line fair ball down the left field line and into the corner. Over to third goes Moya, and in, into second with a ringing double is Lajewski for the Eagles. This one grounded left side and into left field for a base hit. Here comes Lajewski around third, and here comes the throw. It's going to be cut off. The ball game is tied at four. Runners going, hit on the ground is short. Jimenez from the outfield grass with a good strong throw, and that ends the inning. Lined in the left field for a base hit and maybe more. This one scoots by the left fielder, Newton. Up against the wall, and Jimenez is in the second with a leadoff double. Perez is bunting back toward the mound. No play at third. And Jimenez moves over as Perez gets that bunt down. With only a runner at third, you would think you would have at least an infield in. Villegas sends this one to the warning track. Newton runs it down. Tagging at third is Jimenez, and Miami has a 5-4 lead. Villegas drives in his third run of the night. Swing, and a miss. He struck him out. But the Hurricanes get a run across. Golf 2-1. Lines this one to left field. That's a fair ball. It's up against the wall. Cuve with long strides is in the second satisfied with a leadoff double here in the sixth inning. Hit it to the right side. Some teams just tell the hitters, yeah, I'll take my chances with three hitters. And lines it into right center field for a base hit. Here comes Govey around third. He's going to score without a throw. And Dorian Gonzalez does the job. An RBI single, putting Miami in front six to four. That one in the dirt and down to second base goes Gonzalez. 
3-2, Squibb right back to the mound. Easy play for Love. Two down in the Miami sixth inning. Carrier the fly ball to right field. Farrow charging in. Dives can't get there. And it gets by him. One run in. Carrier's off to the races. He's into second base hold up right there. It'll be ruled a double for Carrier. An RBI double as Gonzalez scores. The man is waiting. And the pitch on the way. Strike three call. Jimenez strikes out. A swing and a miss struck him out. Perez left to make the play at first base, and he does. High and tight for ball four. Line into left field for a base hit. Farrow has his third hit of the night. Three for four. And now the tying run comes up to the plate. This one hit on the ground in the center field for a base hit. Here comes Davlin around third. He'll score. The throw is cut off, and it's a 7-5 ball game. Third RBI of the night for Moya. And go back. This whole rally started with two outs. And the 3-2. High fly ball, right field. It's Costello. Says he has it, and he does. Tight indeed. It hit him. The tying run comes to the plate. Lined in the left field for a base hit. Over the glove of Covey and headed for the corner. Cut off by Villegas, but this is going to be runners at second and third. And here come the Eagles. First ball swing, grounded in the center field for a base hit. Here comes the tying run to the plate. Here comes the throw. It's going to be too late and gets away. Goes all the way back to the screen and headed to third base. It's going to be McKee with a go-ahead run. Bases, or rather runner at third. Infield in, high fly ball, center field, Jacoby Long to his right. Should be deep enough. He'll make the catch. McKee tags at third. Here comes the throw. It's going to be too late. And Florida Gulf Coast has the lead. A three-run eighth inning. It's the hitter. Lines this one into left field. That's a fair ball. The number nine hitter around first, headed for second. Villegas kicks that one around a little bit. And Moise will have a double. Robert with the one-two. Ground ball into right field for a base hit. And the runner will be held at third. And it's first and third. And it's Ian Farrow's had a three hit night. Now he's got, oh, what a play. Cuvay right at him. Line drive, Cuvay. Big rally for the Eagles. Bouncing ball, slowly hit. Going to be Jimenez, tough play. Fires on the run and he got him. Nice play by Jimenez. Torres launches this one. Into right field. Farrow on the run. And that one is gone. It's a home run down the right field line. Snuck it in over the right field fence. Just to the left of the foul pole. Torres the other way, and we're tying at eight. Yeah, that's some pretty good power there by Torres, who's off to an incredible start this year for the Hurricanes. Came into this ball game hitting over 500 and gets a good piece of the bat on this ball as he drives it out. The only concern is that he tagged the right hand, but our crew, which always does an amazing job. Check swing, single into center field to go ahead and run on. One out in the ninth inning. Lajewski has his third hit of the night. Yeah, so our crew, when they showed us that right hand, as they're going to put him on, this is smart right here. That, that run means a little less. Fly ball left field. Villegas to his left. He's there, and Miami has a chance to walk it off here in the ninth inning. That's low ball four. Miami has the winning run on. Scanlon squares the bunt and puts down a pretty good bunt between the mound and first base. Underhand toss in time. Here comes the 1-1. Tapped in front of the plate. Fair ball. Play at first in time. Villegas retired. Jimenez moves to third. Sear waits. Here it comes. Bouncing ball. Hit slowly towards short. Cut off by the third baseman. The throw to first. In time, we go to extra innings. None of that matters now. Mac Moise is hit by a pitch, and that's how we start the 10th inning. Ground ball. Jimenez. Oh, what a play on the backhand. The second in time. Gonzalez stays on the bag, and what a play by Jimenez. Going to his right. And he missed for ball four. Now the Harrison Povey digs in. First ball swing in the air to left field. Villegas circles underneath it. 
Says, I got it, and he does. The 2-2 offering. Half swing. Did he go around? Yes, he did. Struck him out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Mac Moist behind the plate pumps his fist. Here's Gorostola. And he hit him. You can hear that one. That's the fourth eagle that's been hit by a pitch tonight. Now the 2-2 delivery on the way. They've got the runner caught between first and second. The throw by Torres. And the tag applied in time. They just happened to guess right this time. Two, oh, my goodness. He hit him another one. <laughs> he hit him again. The third batter that Crowther has hit. Crowther the look and the pitch. A swing and a miss. He struck him out. Nowadays, you don't see that every day. One, two, strike three called. Jimenez is caught looking. Hurricanes are gone in one, two, three fashion. The one, two. Line in the center field. Long charging in. Off the plate on a hop. It's a piece hit. Mac Moist out of the number nine spot. has had a productive evening. Hurricanes are going to let the script writer write a great script for Ian Farrow. They'll intentionally walk him and set up a double play situation. Ripped into left field for a base hit. Viegas on one hop will get it onto the infield, and the bases are loaded. He scalded that ball, hit it too hard, and now the bases are loaded. Fly ball, short center field, or medium center field, I should say, long. Make the catch. Here comes the throw, and it is going to be cut off. Florida Gulf Coast jumps in front, 9-8. to eight. Hobie does the job. Hard in the ground, hard. Cuvay behind the bag, backhands it. Throw is high off the railing of the dugout. One run in. Cuvay made a beautiful play, but that throw was too hot. Ground ball, left side, and through. That could score two more runs. And two runs will score. Florida Golf Coast has opened it up here in the 12th inning. A two-run, two-out single to left field. And they hit him. Off the fist in the air to left center field. Viegas to his left and hauls it in. But, and that one hit Scanlon. Because <laughs> you got Sear on deck. 3-0 is inside for ball four. And now Miami has two on and nobody out. Breaking ball, call strike three. Full Sear called out on strikes. There's a drive into center field. That one gets down up on the warning track. Here comes Scanlon. He's going to score. Now Covey is stuck between first and second. He's got to hustle back, and he does. That was close, but Miami's one run closer, and Torres comes to the plate as the tying run. There's a drive toward the alley in right center field. That one's going to get down, and Viegas should be all the way around third scoring. Here he comes, and he will score standing up. 3-2. Fly ball center field. Charging in, Povey. He'll make the catch, and Miami's down to their final at bat, and it's Costello coming up. Two strikes, here it is. High for ball four. The bases are loaded. And the pitch. High fly ball to right field. Farrow backing up, now circling underneath it. And Farrow makes the catch. And Florida Gulf Coast has taken this one in extra innings. They win it 12 to 10. 12 runs on 18 hits.